What's up y'all? Welcome to my video on how to brew your own microbial tea. In DWC systems, you have two choices as far as a way to go. One is a sterilization, whereas actually you run a sterile environment, and the other is to actually use beneficial microbes. Now, I never really played with the beneficial side of things as a uh, the person that taught me, taught me to use H202, and I've used it religiously for years. Um, I don't really have problems, so I never really looked into uh, actually changing things. I watched a video from MedGrower1, I want to send a big shout out to for leading me into this information. Uh, he, he posted a video on H202, and I watched this video. And it didn't really say anything I didn't already know, but it basically, he mentioned a tea recipe, and I had sent him a private message, and he responded with a thread to go read. It was, so I clicked on the link, it was 197 pages, and I started reading away. So I read this thread, and I continued on doing more and more research, and opened up more and more you know, doors, and I kept learning more and more about the actual root system, and you know, a little bit more about deep water culture that I didn't know before. And for that, I, I owe my girl one a, a big thank you for basically just leading me down a, a path of information that I greatly appreciate. So, through all the different threads I read and different recipes, and some people call it the Heisenberg tea. There's also some people that call it the Richie Rich tea formula. Uh, I'm not here to debate who, who actually started it or any of that, but I thank whoever actually started it and be very appreciative. So let's get into the tea recipe. You can see down here, I have three gallons of distilled water. My RO system right now needs new filters, so I went and got a couple bottles of distilled water as you need some type of non-chlorinated water for this recipe. I picked up a bag, General Organics, Ancient Forest, Alaska Humus Soil Amendment. It's supposed to be the, the best for your earthworm castings. Picked up a little bag of Zell from Botanicare. Bottle of organic molasses. And the last thing I ordered Microgroves, microgroves soluble mycorrhizae. And once again, this came highly recommended and pretty cheap. Each one of these packets is supposed to treat 12 gallons. I got four of them, and they're six dollars a packet. So not too bad. So that will actually treat 48 gallons. Now to brew this tea, I'm gonna put the, uh, the camera on the tripod so I can actually brew the tea with you guys. Right, I'll be right back. What's up, y'all? I'm back, and let's let's get this party going. So I'm gonna start. Okay, room temperature is another very important thing. Whatever water you decide to use, whether RO water or still water, you want to make sure that it's up to room temperature. Ideally, uh, the microbes, they, they thrive best in an environment between 72 and 75 degrees. They do not need light in order to grow, too. So this recipe, basically we add small parts of things, we give it some food, we let it brew for a couple days, and then we've made ourselves a very, very cheap root inoculant. And as anybody that grows knows, healthy roots does equal more fruits. So, I am excited to see an even happier root base. Because once the roots are completely happy and healthy, they can uptake more nutrients, and they can do it while using less nutrient or less PPM mix in order to achieve the same results. So we've added 
three gallons of water. And the next step in our recipe will be the microgrows soluble mycorrhizae. I'm going to take a packet of it out. And we'll open her up. And the recipe calls for one teaspoon per gallon. So we need three teaspoons. Here's one. Two, three teaspoons of the microgood, soluble microarsa. Okay. The next thing we need to add is our ancient forest hummus. Now, if you can see one of Things. Tie it myself real quick. So you can see the actual earthworm castings are in there. Tied it off. Right in there with the air stone, so the air stone will air it. So we can go ahead and we can put that down into the bucket. Second air stone into the bucket. Now we're going to be adding one and a half tablespoons of the organic molasses. The Zoe, from all the readings I did, don't add that until right before you're actually going to use the product. So, what we're going to do now is actually plug in the air pump and we'll start getting it mixing. And if I did everything correctly, after about 12 hours, I'll have some foam on the top. That means that they're actually, they become alive and they're breeding back all right I'm back the air pump is on and this basically for the next 48 hours I don't really need to do much now once we get to the 48 hour point and this is ready to be used the initial treatment if you're having problems 
is one cup per gallon in your reservoir. If you're not having problems, the actual maintenance go dose is one cup per 10 gallons of water in your reservoir. Also, they recommend every three days to add one cup directly to the roots. So, you have a couple things to do each week. And as you change your res, you put the mixture back into your res. And then also, you have a cup to add directly to the root base every three days. All right. Thank you for watching my video on how to brew your own microbial tea. Hope you all have a wonderful day.